morning from sunny Urbana, Illinois. We're set for day two of the UHS Invitational here at Urbana High School. We're seeing play on Blackman Field as your Urbana Tigers, the Urbana one team in the tournament, taking on the Beecher Bobcats. Both came up on the short end of the stick yesterday as we see a shot towards the Urbana goal from the Bobcats there. And that's broken up by Sadu Mukadi. Mukadi had a big game yesterday. Urbana losing 1-0, a tough loss to Geneseo. Maple Leafs will be in action at 10.30 this morning out here at the Urbana Athletic Complex. I mentioned we're seeing Urbana 1. Urbana 2 also lost yesterday, 5-2 to Muhammad. Urbana 2 currently playing at 8.30 as well this morning at the field across from us, McKinley Field. They're squared off against Bremen, who lost to Danville. Jason Liggett with you alongside our camera operator, Abram Washington, and a goal from the Tigers. So the Tigers strike early this morning at a minute and 15 seconds into this match. Scoring for Urbana is number seven, Miguel Lemus. So the Tigers take a 1-0 lead here. And just the opposite as we started last night's game with the sunset casting large shadows on the field. The sunrise casting large shadows from the east now. Supposed to be a beautiful day here in Urbana as we see that one knocked across Michigan Avenue. Lemus tossing this one in for the Tigers and it's a header from number 11, William Arana. Arana had a couple of nice shots on the goal last night but none found the back of the net. Already we've seen Urbana be a little bit more aggressive here early on than they were last night. Geneseo scoring at the four minute mark last night and that was the lone goal in Urbana's loss. Urbana started the season this past Tuesday, September 3rd with a victory. That was a 12-1 win over Rantoul. Mukati tosses it over to Becerel Perez. Perez is upfield, and now they find number 22 on the near side, Ivan Minet. It's blocked up and cleared out of play by the Bobcats. Looks like it's going to be a corner kick situation for the Tigers. Barkley over there in the near corner. Certainly difficult for our viewing public to see, so you'll just have to take my word for it. It was Barkley. And we have a whistle on the play. Tigers up early here, one nothing. 36-42 left to play here in the first half. We appreciate you joining us and tuning in on the Tigers Media Network. Streaming online at youtube.com slash uptv6 or whether you're watching later on Urbana Public Television, Comcast Xfinity's Channel 6 and 1096, AT&T U-verse Channel 99, and i3 Broadband Channel 6. Tigers Media Network powered by the Urbana High School Journalism class. We have alumni Abram Washington with us this morning. As looking for a goal there was Arana, but that's broken up by the Beecher defense. For more information on Urbana High School Athletics, be sure to follow them on Twitter, at Athletics Urbana. You can also look at their il.8to18.com slash Urbana website. Corner kick there from the Tigers. Threatening to score another one, and that one's cleared out by Beecher. Urbana in control now. Nay tosses it over to Becerel Perez. Perez 
kicks it over and a shot on the goal there from Miguel Lemus. And that's broken up by the Bobcats. Lemus has the first goal of the game today. He scored that just a minute and 15 seconds into this contest. Kick here from Beecher going upfield and passes Mukati. Urbana kicks this to the goalkeeper and here's number four for Beecher. That's A.J. Graham. Urbana gains control once again. Barkley in the midfield. He clears this out and down the field is Lemus. Lemus battling right now trying to gain control of that. He's got a shot towards the goal and into the parking lot. Well, must not have been Lemus, must have been off the uh, Bobcats defender there. So we see a corner kick from the Tigers. And header on the goal off the top corner of the goal post there. So another near score from Urbana. They're deep in territory, see what they can come up with here. Kick towards the middle, broken up by the Bobcats, cleared out by Beecher. Trent Diani, number six for Beecher, battling the Tigers down there. Coming away with it's Urbana. They clear it to the midfield. Kirkland tosses it over to Barkley. Barkley trying to get something going. He finds in midfield is number 41 for the Tigers. That's Kevin Juarez. Scooped up by Beecher's goalie. Miguel Herrera, the goaltender for Beecher today, as we see a header hit there from Becerel Perez. And a high kick from Urbana's Ivan Manet. And a whistle there for Bobcat Ball. In the net today for the Tigers is Charles Mandra, the sophomore at Urbana High School. Eight minutes into this first half now, and the Tigers with a 1-0 lead. That went out of play on Urbana. The Bobcats will bring this one back into play. That's number 22, Gage Beck, over there. Beck tosses this one in towards the middle. It's broken up by Mukati of the Tigers. Another header hit there from Austin Hauser. Becerel Perez tosses that one over to Ivan Manet. And there to Barkley and back to Becerel Perez. Perez now kicks this midfield. Header hit from the Bobcats. And a battle there midfield and they toss it over to Kirkland. Kirkland now clears this down the far side. Racing over towards it's number 19, William Elaine. And there's a shot on the goal from number 7, Miguel Lemus along with a whistle. Cool breeze in Urbana this morning and that sun doing a nice job of warming us up. High of 79 today. And sunny skies. Kirkland trying to find Barkley, broken up by the Bobcats. Mukati passes that back and forth with Becerel Perez. Sam Ross doing a nice job on the defensive side of things. Breaks up that drive and tosses it over to the far side. Here's Kirkland. Kirkland trying to get something going with a shot on the goal and broken up by Beecher. 
Mukati for the Tigers with some good footwork. He's moving down the middle of the field. Tries to kick that ahead to find Lemus, but to no avail. Now battling back is Kirkland. Kirkland with the ball once again, trying to find Lemus, and broken up once again by the Bobcats. And Lemus goes diving. Might have been tripped up there. Urbana will be tossing this one in. Looks like he's going to kick it, rather. This is number 19 over there, William Lane. Kicks this in front of the goal. Some prime real estate there for the Tigers. There's Mukati shot on the goal. Barkley for the Tigers. That one's broken up by the Bobcats. And that one's... Wide right there. Urbana in the white jersey with black lettering, black shorts, and white trim. Where we see Beecher in the orange jerseys with black lettering. Fading down to black on the front end of things and black shorts with white trim. Twenty-eight forty remaining in this first half. Urbana with a 1-0 lead here at Blackman Field. Jason Liggett with you alongside Abram Washington. Abram, a 2015 graduate of Urbana High School and the UHS Broadcasting alumni. Mukati kicks this one back to Charles Mandra. Mandra over to the far side. He finds number 24, Olivia Contreras. It's now up the field. A good shot to score here. And once again, it's Miguel Lemus scoring the second goal of the morning. It's 2-0 Tigers lead thanks to Miguel Lemus. Lemus able to shake off his defender there. Had a good shot on the goal and gets it to the back of the net. That one coming at just over 12 minutes into this contest. And Tigers up 2 nothing now. Knocked out of play by number 11, William Arana. Bobcats tossing this one in. Midfield to Kirkland. Kirkland knocks it downfield on the far side. Finding it for the Tigers is number 19, William Mullaney. That one goes out of play. Here's it is on the near side here. Coming down is Beecher. Beecher looking for some offensive momentum here. The Tigers able to break this one up once again. They find Barkley midfield. Barkley with a header over to Kirkland. Kirkland now gets tripped up. Comes away with the ball. And trips over the ball there, trying to battle the defender. That was number 22 for the Bobcats, Gage Beck. Tigers break away, pass it up to Lemus. Lemus now with the ball once again. He's going downfield and loses this one to the Bobcat defense. Lemus with two goals so far. It's a 2-0 Urbana lead. That one's out of play on the far side of the field.
Oh, and another goal there. Nice pass from number 11, William Arana. He gets the assist to Miguel Lemus. Lemus with the third Urbana goal this morning. It's a 3 nothing lead for the Tigers. 25-30 remaining in this first half. So Urbana had plenty of shots on the goal last night, not able to get any of those to go. Credit to Geneseo's goaltender, but it's been all Urbana this morning as they lead 3-0 against Miguel Herrera and the Bobcats. Going to be Urbana ball just below us. That's number 21, Emmanuel Becerel Perez. Toss it again to Kevin Juarez. Juarez back to Ross and then up midfield to Barkley. That's taken away from number six, Trent Myers of the Bobcats. And Myers trying to get something going. Whistle is blown on Urbana. Bobcats going up the far side. Tigers doing battle down there. That's number 36, Isaac Sosnoff. Don't recall if Sosnoff got in the game last night or not. If he did, he wasn't in for too long. He's a sophomore at Urbana High School. As we see some players going out for Urbana to take a rest. Number 11, William Arana, and 41, Kevin Juarez. Sosnoff has this one over to Mandra. Mandra kicks it to the near side. He finds Becerel Perez. Perez now slowly going upfield. Kicks it over to Menene. Menene up to Mukati and Mukati over to Barkley. Barkley finds Kirkland midfield. Here comes Kirkland leading the Tigers. He kicks it to the near side. There's Mukati down there. See what he can come up with here. Against the defender, some good footwork from Mukati as we've come to expect. Back over to Kirkland. Kirkland goes for a shot on the goal and that's broken up by the Bobcat defense. Racing over a Sosnoff. Sosnoff. Upfield to number 23 for the Tigers. That's Samuel Rumeni. That's another uh, slow roll over there. I missed that, Abram. Did you happen to see what? Okay. Look down at my sheet, and the Tigers go and score again. So a 4 nothing lead here for Urbana. 18 minutes into this first half. But yeah, that last goal certainly didn't have to fury or fire. I, th I think goalie was coming out a little bit, and... Uh, that one just slow rolled into the net there. Urbana in control of the ball once again on the far side. Kicking it over towards the goal. I think he was looking to find Rumeni there. But that one scooped up by Herrera. Bobcat's going to kick this one out of the goalie box. 21-50 remaining here in the first half. They trail by four. Good header hit there from Becerel Perez. Olivia Contreras up to Barkley. Barkley over to the near side, and Mukati has it. Mukati kicks it over to number 22, Ivan Mene. That one broken up by the Bobcat defense, but Mene still has control of it. He 
Kicks it back to the center. They were looking for Mukati again. That goes sailing over his head. Mukati kicks it back to number 21, Emmanuel Becerel Perez. Perez to the center and finds Fernando Olivia Contreras. Now it's over to the far side. Running up the far side is Isaac Sosnoff. Sosnoff advances that one to Kirkland. And there's number 34 in the game for the Tigers, Jonathan Dolrud. Dolrud, a senior here at Urbana High School. This one tossed back into Kirkland. Here's Barkley up top with it. And that one out of play on Urbana. Time of possession heavily favor favoring the Tigers in this one, that's for sure. Numerous shots on the goal, many of those going in, four to be exact. It's a 4 nothing lead here for Urbana with just 20 minutes remaining in this first half. So a different story from last night as the Tigers lost the opening game of their tournament here, 1-0 against the Geneseo Maple Leaves. They're now up four to nothing. Here comes Urbana once again. Noah Barkley. That one broken up by Gen uh, excuse me, broken up by Beecher. Kirkland over to the far side. Now back to Barkley. Barkley looking for number twenty four, Fernando Olivia Contreras. Tigers threatening again. Shot on the goal. Oh, my. So there was a shot on the goal, and then it looks like Mukati came in and uh, knocked that one right off the uh, face of Herrera, but credit to Miguel Herrera for staying with it, and the Tigers don't score there. Miguel Herrera kicking this one center field. Here's Noah Barkley to the near side. Finds number 22, Ivan Manet. Manet battling the Bobcats down there. The Bobcats come away with it. Barkley over to help. And coming away with it is number 24, Fernando Olivia Contreras for the Tigers. Back to Noah Barkley. Noah Barkley now back to Contreras. And goes upfield to number 23. Shot on the goal and a nice block there from Miguel Herrera. Tigers not done yet. Coming in to take another shot on the goal is number 34, Jonathan Dolorod. But another good stop from Miguel Herrera, senior goalkeeper for the Beecher Bobcats. Urbana was having a little bit of a uh, free will to score early on in this game, but past couple of minutes, Miguel Ferreira stepping up big for the Bobcats, holding the Urbana to a 4-0 lead. And we have a whistle here on the field. 17.54 left to play here in the first half. Jason Liggett with you on the Tigers Media Network. We appreciate you tuning in alongside camera operator Abram Washington. Abram loves to wake up early on a Saturday morning, so I'm glad he was able to be here. I'm sure he had a long list of things to do before uh, 10 a.m. this morning, so he can put those off. Sammy and Rumeni slipping and falling there. Rumeni trying to chase down Beecher and coming away with it are the Tigers. They kick it back to Charles Mandra. Mandra over to the near side. He finds number 21, Emmanuel Becerel Perez. Perez up to Barkley. Barkley over to Minet. There's Noah Barkley. He kicks it to Makati. Makati coming up on the near side. Kicks it over to Barkley. Barkley with a shot on the goal. Didn't uh, quite hit that on the ball that he wanted. It goes sailing across Michigan Avenue here. It was high and to the right. Uh, 
High kick there from Urbana's Isaac Sosnoff. Noah Barkley over to the near side, finds Mukati. Goes past Mukati, and there's number 22, Ivan Manet, for the Tigers. Barkley grabs it once again. Shot on the goal, and scooped up and stopped by Miguel Herrera of the Bobcats. Twenty-four minutes and fifteen seconds into this first half, the Tigers lead four nothing. Ross kicking it over to the far side. Finds Jonathan Dolrod. Now back to Barkley in the middle. Barkley over to Mukati. Mukati. Kicks it over to number 24. That's Fernando Olivia Contreras. Back to Barkley now. Barkley, very good assist opportunity there, but not able to come up with it is number 12, Jackson Kirkland for the Tigers. There's Sadu Makati over to Noah Barkley. Noah Barkley now trying to find the open man, and he does in number 24, Fernando Olivia Contreras, back to Barkley. Barkley going up the field, shot on the goal, and that sails high. Bobcats tossing this one on the far side. Urbana knocks it out once again, so it'll be Beecher. Tossing this one in again. On the near side, just below us now, is number 22 for the Tigers, Ivan Manet. He gets that up to Makati. Makati's racing here. See if he gets to it first, and he does. Kicks that ahead, broken up by the Bobcats' defense. Nice sliding kick there from Beecher. Will be Urbana ball down there, and Ivan Manet going to knock this one over to Barkley. Back to Manet and over back to Barkley. They're on the near side, gets it middle of the field. Broken up by the Bobcats. That's number four for Beecher, A.J. Graham. Now we see number 24 of the Bobcats, Joseph Adam. Broken up by Samuel Ross of the Tigers. He gets it to the far side. Race to the ball there, and getting there first is Brandon Lundman Para. Lundman Para going to toss this one in now. Brendan Lundman Para for the Beecher Bobcats. Senior this year. Waiting to get that second ball off the field, and they do just that. Over the head of the Urbana defense, and with a header is A.J. Graham, and that one goes rolling out of bounds, and Samuel Ross tosses that one over to Charles Mandra. Mandra kicks it up to Ross. Vanna advancing that ball, looking towards the middle, and coming away with it is Beecher's Brandon Cravens, the junior.
Here comes Barkley and the Tigers. Barkley kicks it to the far side. Racing that one down is number 19 for Urbana, Willem Elaine. Willem now kicks it in the middle. And no one from Urbana there to make any contact with it. Out of bounds on the Tigers. Will be Bobcat Ball over there in the far corner. 11 minutes remaining here in the first half. Tigers still up by four. It's a 4-0 four ball game at Blackman Field. Header hit there from the Tigers. Tigers kick it over to midfield. Kicking it back is Becerel Perez. Noah Barkley kicks it to the near side. That one goes back to Barkley. He advances this up the near side to Sadu Mukati. Mukati battling down there, back to Barkley. Urbana center of the field now. That's Samuel Ross, Samuel Ross to the far side. Tossing in for the Tigers is Jonathan Dolorod. Shots on the goal. Sails high. And the Bobcats going to kick this one from the corner of the goalie's box. Tigers have two teams in this tournament, Urbana 1 and Urbana 2. Both losing yesterday. Urbana 2 lost to Muhammad, 5-2, and Urbana 1 lost to Geneseo, 1-0. Urbana coming up the near side. Barkley kicks that over to Emmanuel Becerra Perez. Excuse me, that's number 19, Willem and Lenny. And Lenny up field to number 23 for the Tigers, Samuel Rumeni. Here's Rumeni with a chance, but uh, ran out of room there. Header hit there from A.J. Graham. Sammy Ross kicks it back up the far side for the Tigers, and finding that is number 36, Isaac Sosnoff. Here's Sosnoff now, trying to advance that ball, broken up by the Beecher Bobcats. Here's Samuel Ross, header hit over to Sosnoff, and the defender falling right on top of Sosnoff as they both jumped for the ball. Ross able to come up with it. He advances that ball over to number seven, Miguel Lemus. Lemus back in the game. He's got three of Urbana's four goals this afternoon, or this morning, rather. Shot on the goal, and it is good for number 22, Ivan Minet. He gets the pass from Barkley and knocks that one in to increase Urbana's lead to five. It's a 5 nothing game here at Blackman Field. Day two of the UHS Invitational Tournament as the Urbana High School Tigers battling the Beecher Bobcats. The 
winner of this game will either play Urbana 2 or Bremen. That game scoreless as of right now, Urbana 2 and Bremen. So we could see a Urbana versus Urbana game later on today here at Blackman Field. Charles Mandra scoops this one up and sends it over to Sosnoff. Tigers doing a good job of ball movement here. And Beecher defense really hasn't come up with an answer. Taking this one high is Sosnoff. And bringing it back down to field level, level are the Tigers. Ivan kicks it to the far side to number 34, Jonathan Dolorod. Some good footwork over there by Miguel Lemus. Kicks it in the middle of the field and it gets uh, broken up and will be Urbana ball here on the far sideline. They toss that in to Noah Barkley. Barkley over to number 24 for the Tigers. He went for a shot there and breaking it up is Brandon Cravens, the junior for Beecher. Going for a shot on the goal there was number 23 for the Tigers. Samuel Romani, it's broken up by the Bobcats. Just under five minutes remaining here in the first half. Urbana has a commanding 5-0 lead. Jumping for that header hit was Lemus and not able to come up with it. So we'll be Beecher Ball here. Had her hit from the Bobcats and taken right back away from Urbana. See number 23 for the Tigers, shot on the goal and scooped up by Miguel Herrera. That was Samuel Romani for Urbana. Herrera knocking this one back. Sosnoff chasing it down. Sosnoff going to kick that one back to Charles Mandra in the goalie's box. Mandra saw a lot of action last night, not so much this morning. Bessarel Perez trying to get away there, but uh, finds out the best thing. Just get it back to Mandra and see what Mandra can come up with. He kicks it midfield and header hit here from the Bobcats. Chasing that one down for another header hit from the Bobcats is number 18, Brandon Cravens, and Urbana back in control. Header hit there from Beecher. That's number three, Aiden Cross. Back to Mandra. Mandra now kicks it in the middle of the field. And coming up with that is number 24 for the Tigers, Fernando Olivia Contreras. Mandra stops that one from rolling out of play. And nice easy pass over to Olivia Contreras. Contreras up to Barkley now. Barkley moving up the near side of the field. Kicks it. Broken up by number eight from the defense. That's Aiden Ward for the Bobcats. Barkley back with it. Tries middle of the field. And he was trying to get that to Miguel Lemus. And we have a whistle there as Lemus made some contact with Tony Diani. Samuel Ross kicks that one back up to Lemus. Lemus now on the far side of the field. Advances that to number 34 for the Tigers and Dolorod. Here's Dolorod now. Kicking it back over and broken up by the Beecher Bobcats. 
and sending that one out of play is number 19 for the Bobcats, Matt Byerline. Turpana ball here. Olivia Contreras knocks that one back to Ross. Back up to Olivia Contreras now. Contreras finding number 19 for the Tigers on the far side is Willem. That one out of play on the Bobcats, and Willem's going to bring this one back into play for Urbana. Also running over there for the Tigers is Fernando Olivia Contreras. Looks like Fernando Olivia Contreras going to handle this corner kick for Urbana. Another prime scoring opportunity here for the Tigers. It's a 5-0 lead here for Urbana. 50 seconds left to play here in the first half. And there's a header hit from Lemus. Goes over the goal post. Miguel Lemus having a very nice offensive game here. Here's Barkley going upfield. Broken up by the Bobcats. There's Olivia Contreras. Some good footwork back to Barkley. Barkley shot on the goal and sails wide there to end the first half. So the Tigers score five. It's a 5 nothing lead here at Blackman Field. The winner of this game going on to face Bremen and Urbana 2. The winner of that game, which is currently tied up at zero. We'll be back with second half action here at Blackman Field. Back here at Blackman Field. Second half action in the UHS Invitational between the Urbana Tigers and the Beecher Bobcats. We see a header hit there by number 11, Jesus Tapote. Tapote running after the ball there, and it's broken up um, number 7, Miguel Lemus. Lemus with the majority of Urbana's goals here this morning as the Tigers lead 5-0. Ross kicking that up field. And it goes back to number 36 for the Tigers, Isaac Sosnoff. Over towards the near side, we see number 34 making contact with that one, Jonathan Dolorod. Tigers have it midfield. Kick it over to Lemus. Lemus now searching for. Urbana offensive players deep and chasing that one out of play is Willem and Lenny. So the Tigers picking up where they left off, controlling the ball the bulk of the time here. As they look to add to this 5-0 lead, just two minutes into the second half here. Some good footwork from Brendan Lundman Para of the Bobcats, but Urbana comes away with it. Tossing this one in for the Tigers. Jonathan Dolorod. Dolorod looking for number 11, William Arana. Thank you. 
whistle there on Urbana. So we'll be Bobcat ball here. Big kick to midfield. The Tigers coming away with it as sending that one to Lemus was Olivia Contreras. Here's Dualrod. Up in the middle, gets it to Arana. Dualrod battling up there over to Lemus. Lemus hits it off his chest and broken up by the Bobcats. Here's Lemus again. He gets it back to Dualrod. Jonathan Dualrod a senior at Urbana High School. And listening to toss this one in is Miguel Lemus for Urbana. He does just that. He was trying to find William Arana, and that one broken up by Beecher, and a little miscue there from Brendan Lumenpara trying to find Jesus Tapote, and it is Urbana Ball with John Dolorud passing that one in. Shot there from Arana, and that's blocked by Ethan Short. So Urbana doing a good job of controlling possession, but uh, just doesn't feel like they have quite the free reign that they had early on in that first half when they scored the uh, majority of their goals. I'm sure that was a topic from coaches Don Compton and Jordan Olivia on the Beecher sidelines during halftime. There's Olivia Contreras passing that one up to Samuel Rumeni. Olivia Contreras once again in control. Good opportunity here for the Tigers. Dulrod trying to chase that one down, and he gets tripped up on the ball and goes down over there defending for the Bombcats was Matt Byerline. Byerline gets that one out of the net now and kicks it over to Miguel Herrera. And kicking this one out of the goalie's box is Tony Diani. Diani, a senior at Beecher. Broken up by Arana. Arana now trying to get something going offensively for the Tigers in this second half. Arana avoiding the defense, kicks it to the middle and broken up by Beecher there to save it. For Urbana is number seven, Miguel Lemus. Lemus over to Dolorod. Dolorod back to Lemus. Some good footwork there. Jonathan Dolorod over to Miguel Lemus. And the Tigers battling here. A whistle there as looked like Byerline tripped up Dolorod. So six and a half minutes into the second half, Tigers have a 5-0 lead. If the lead ever gets to as high as seven, they cut the time in half. Shot on the goal there from Urbana, sails high. So although it's scheduled for 40-minute halves, if uh, Urbana were to score a couple of quick ones here, just be 15 minutes remaining rather than 33 or somewhere around there. Still scoreless in the Urbana 2 versus Bremen game, the winner of Urbana 1, which we're seeing right here. And Beecher will go on to play them. Shot on the goal, off the goal post. Prime opportunity for Urbana, but can't come away with it. It's wisely kicked out of play by number 5, Tony Diani of the Bombcats. So a near goal there from Urbana. And taking that one over for a corner kick is Jonathan Dolorud. Dolorud kicks it in the middle. A high kick there from Ivan Manet. Dolorud gets it back. He's battling on the near side. And that one goes out of play. It's going to be Bobcat Ball and tossing it in 
is going to be number 19 for Beecher, Matt Byerline. Byerline over to Tony Diani. Diani with a high kick going midfield and trying to get a header hit on that is number 36, Isaac Sosnoff. Unable to do so, and it goes back to Sam Ross. Sam Ross kicking that to the goalkeeper. And I think that goalkeeper is freshman Patrick Sweeney. Wearing number one. There's no number one listed here on my roster. But Patrick Sweeney does not have a number next to him. And I think I heard someone call him Patrick. So I believe that's Patrick Sweeney, the goalkeeper for Urbana this half. Sweeney's a freshman at Urbana High School this year. Or Sam Ross kicking it up midfield, finds number 22 for the Tigers. That's Ivan Manet. He kicks it ahead to number 23. Prime opportunity here for the Tigers. Three defenders around him. And we see a shot on the goal from number 19, Willem Elaine. So just over 30 minutes left here in the second half. Urbana up 5-0. Olivia Contreras kicks it towards us, and he finds Miguel Lemus. There's Sam Ross. Sam Ross comes up with that one. He kicks it over to the far side, and then it goes back, and now right to the middle for the Tigers. They find Miguel Lemus. Here's Lemus setting up the offense. He kicks it held to Arana. Arana racing after that one, and coming out of the goalie box is Miguel Herrera to scoop that one up. Herrera with a few nice saves today, even in light of a 5-0 game. Getting that head, one ahead to Dualrod, and now it goes right back to number 36 for the Tigers, Isaac Sosnoff. Sosnoff kicks it over to 22, now to 23 for the Tigers, and broken up once again by the Bobcats. Here's Lemus doing battle underneath us. And tripped up there is Urbana's Samuel Rumeni. Rumeni, a junior at Urbana High School, shakes that one off as he jogs up limping a little. And with the kick here is going to be Fernando Olivia Contreras, the senior for the Tigers. Another good opportunity here for the Tigers offense. Contreras hits it. Oh, man. Header there from Samuel Remeni, but it goes wide. Just under 29 minutes left. Urbana up 5 nothing Here at Blackman Field, Jason Liggett with you. Our camera operator is Abram Washington. We appreciate you joining us on the Tigers Media Network. A corner kick for the Tigers, and... That one sails wide, but Miguel Herrera going all out there. He dove right into the side post. Tony Diani kicking this one off for the Bobcats. Here's Dulrud. Dulrud gets it to midfield to number 23, Samuel Romani. Here's Arana. Back to Lemus. Lemus with the ball now, trying to go around the defenders, does, shot on the goal, and it's high through the uprights on this multi-purpose field. Lamus back to Ross, and Ross over to the far side. They now get to number 22, Ivan Manet. Manet up to 23, which is Samuel Rumeni. 
soft shot on the goal there from William Arana. And scooping that up is Herrera. Herrera drop kicks this one to midfield. And a header from Emmanuel, Bre Emmanuel Becerel Perez. Going to be a corner kick here for the Tigers. Ivan Minet over there to deliver this one. So another prime scoring opportunity here for the Tigers. Kicks this one in the middle. Trying to come up with that is number seven, Miguel Lemus, unable to do so. And it goes out of play on the Tigers. So it will be Bobcat ball here. And tossing this one in for Beecher is Matt Byerline. Byron line looking to get that to Brendan Lumen Para, and Urbana comes away with it. Here's Lemus breaking that up, gives it over to Rana. Rana now looking for a goal, shot on the goal, and it's blocked by number 16, Ethan Short. Seems like Urbana gets closer and closer to a goal every time that they go down the field, but still not able to come up with it on that situation was number 19, Willem Mullane. Olivia Contreras kicks that one upfield, and now racing over to the far sideline is number four for the Bobcats. That's A.J. Graham. Urbana blocks that, and back in control is A.J. Graham. He gets tripped up from behind, and here come the Bobcats. Going to be a shot on the goal here, and a score. So Sweeney gets in front of that ball, deflects it, but it goes behind him. And no longer a shutout, as that's the Beecher Bobcats' first goal of the morning. It's a 5-1 game now. That one coming with 15 minutes into the second half. Tigers lead 5-1. Sostnoff tossing this one in, and he finds Lemus. Back to Sostnoff. Sostnoff knocks it backfield to Olivia Contreras. Here's Sostnoff looking for Dulrud. Sostnoff tosses that one in to Olivia Contreras. Contreras kicks it up to Lemus. Lemus now back to Olivia Contreras. There's Contreras back to Lemus. Lemus sends this one midfield, and that one, good block from Tony Diani. Bobcats advancing that one downfield, but Sweeney's able to kick that one back for the Tigers, and it goes out of play. Here's Olivia Contreras for Urbana. He tests this one up to Jonathan Dulrod. Now it's back to Dulrod. Dulrod shot on the goal. Another block there from Tony Diani. Diani coming back big on the defensive end and he shoved from behind by number 19. That's Urbana's Willem Align. Shot on the goal. Sails wide right and high from Brendan Lundman Plera.
There's Ross in the backfield, kicks it to Becerel Perez. Perez passes it upfield, far side. They get it to number 22. That's Ivan Manet. Olivia Contreras up to Lemus. Here comes Lemus now, trying to advance that ball. It's broken up by number five, Tony Diani. Down in the far corner are the Bobcats. Good block there from Ivan Manet. Urbana's Isaac Sosnoff doing a good job of breaking up that play. Becerel Perez for the Tigers, kicks that over to Ross. Ross now up to Lemus. Lemus midfield, finds number 22 in Ivan Manet. Manet kicks that up to number 23, Samuel Romini. Romini now trying to chase that down, but coming up with it is Tony Diani on the defense. Kick there from Urbana's Willem Elaine. At the 19 minute mark into the second half, it's a 5-1 Urbana lead here at Blackman Field. Jason Liggett with you. Our camera operator this morning is Abram Washington. We appreciate you tuning in on the Tigers Media Network as we see Arana chasing that one down. See if he comes up with it. He does, shot on the goal and scores. Urbana with their sixth goal of the morning. And that comes from number 11, William Arana. Freshman for Urbana 1 in this tournament. Looking at the field behind us, Urbana 2 with a 1-0 lead. So still 21 minutes left to play in that one. But uh, should both Urbana 1 and Urbana 2 win this morning, they will be playing each other. Later today at 12.30 on McKinley Field. Samuel Ross chasing this one down for the Tigers. Bobcat's going to toss that one in from the far side. Arana with a good header over to Dulrud. Broken up by the Bobcats. Urbana has it midfield. That's number 41 for the Tigers is Kevin Juarez back in the game. Another opportunity there from Urbana as we saw Sam Rumeni trying to chase that one down. Urbana ball on the side. Shot on the goal from Urbana's Ivan Monet, and it sails wide right. High kick there from Isaac Sosnoff. William Marana with the ball. Kicks it over to the middle of the field. And chasing after that one. Actually coming up with that one. They kick it back to Ross. Ross over to the near side and Sosnoff. Sosnoff has the ball. See what he can do with it. He kicks it up to Dulrud. Dulrud over to Juarez. Juarez loses it to the Beecher defense. Back up to Dulrud. Dulrud tries to find Juarez once again. It's broken up by number 14 for the Beecher Bombcats, Austin Hauser. Mm -hmm. 
update on Urbana 2 Bremen game. Bremen has scored two quick goals. It's now a 2-1 ball game. So we'll see what happens here. The winner of that game will face the winner of this game. Urbana 1, which we are watching right now, has a 6-1 lead over Beecher. 17 and a half minutes remaining here in the second half. Sweeney tossing that one back into play for the Tigers. They kick it midfield to number 22, Ivan Manet. And now it's a race to the ball. See if they can get there before it goes out of play, and they cannot. Samuel Romani really had the wheels on there, but unable to come up with it. So Diani kicking off here for the Bobcats. He kicks at midfield. Battling there is number 22, Gage Beck. Juarez tries to come up with it. Not able to do so, and Beck kicks it downfield. Sweeney coming up, and he scoops that one up. Header hit there from Ivan McNamee. Going to be Bobcats on the far sideline. Beecher tosses that one in, and knocking it right out back out of play is Willem Lane. Here's William Arana. Arana over to Juarez. Excuse me. That's Miguel Lemus. Here's Lemus. Trying to find Dualrod on the far side, and he's not able to come up with it. Over there defending Dualrod is number nine, Bryce Beck. He's going to toss this one off to Byerline to throw it back in. And we're going to see a couple of subs come in here for Beecher. Byerline's going to take a seat on the sideline. And coming back into the game, Brandon Cravens. And tossing this one in for the Bobcats is Aiden Ward. Ward tosses this one in again. Juarez is there, kicks that up to Arana. Arana over to Lemus. Lemus trying to find number 23 for the Tigers. That's Samuel Romeni. Lemus over to Eleni, back to Lemus. Lemus tries to find upfield and does so. Oh, just about to turn around and take that one was William Arana, and it's broken up by Tony Diani from the Bobcats. Here's Barkley back into the game. Noah Barkley kicks this one over to Lemus. Lemus finds Dolrod on the near side. Back over to Arana. Here's William Arana. Back to Lemus. Lemus kicks this one up, and it's deflected by A.J. Graham of the Bobcats. Shot on the goal, and it is good. Urbana scores. 7-1 to one ball game. Coming up with that one is number 23, Samuel Romani, the junior for Urbana, assisted by number 11, William Arana. So a 7-1 game, that coming in the 25-minute mark here. 14.06 left to play once they uh, get the clock rolling here again. Uh-oh. And they've cut that in half since the Tigers now have seven. It's uh, down to 6.50 left to play. I was thinking it had to be up by seven, but a shot on the goal there, and it is good. Sweeney can't get to it. Scoring for the Beecher Bobcats believe that's number nine. Yes, that was number nine, Bryce Beck, for the Bobcats. And they're going to put 13 minutes back up on the clock. I thought they had cut that in half a little too soon there, and they did. You have to be up by seven, not just once you get to seven. So it's a seven to two 
game now. And 13 minutes counting down. We're at 12.52 now. So two quick goals here, one from Urbana, and Beecher answers right back. So still a five-goal lead for the Tigers, 7-2. to two. Here's Noah Barkley. Barkley kicks this over to Lemus. Lemus trying to find Barkley again, cannot do so. Coming up with it for the Tigers is number 22, Ivan Manet. Shot on the goal for the Tigers. And trying to come up with it now is Jonathan Dolrud. Dolrud, a senior at Urbana High School. Here's Arana with it, and it's broken up, as we've said many times today, by Beecher's Tony Diani. Diani been a constant force there on the defensive end. Arana trying to come up with this for the Tigers. He does. He passes it over to Lemus. Goes over to Kevin Juarez. Kevin Juarez now, midfield, kicks it to the far side, and that one's deflected by Aiden Kraus, a junior for the Bobcats. Goes out of play, and tossing this one back into play for Urbana is William Lenny. Here's Miguel Lemus. Lemus for the Tigers, shakes off the defender and kicks this in over to Dolorud. Dolorud back to Lemus. Lemus kicking this one across the field. Kevin Juarez comes up with it for the Tigers. Juarez deciding what to do with it. He kicks it over to the far side. Urbana in front of the goal. Here's Arana. Oh, man, and the defender came out of the goalie's box. Thought they were going to be able to uh, get one in, but Arana... Kicks that a little too far in, and it goes wide with just under 10 minutes remaining here in the second half. And a number of subs coming in for the Bobcats. It's a 7-2 Urbana game. And as the day grows a little older here, the sun gets a little warmer. Definitely a little warmer than we started here in Urbana. There's Arana trying to get that in front of the goal, but blocking it is Aiden Ward. Lemus kicking this up to Rumeni. Shot on the goal, and it is good. Number 22 for the Tigers. Ivan A, that's his second goal of the Morning, it's now an 8-2 Urbana advantage with 8.53 remaining here. So frustrating game last night where the Tigers just couldn't find the net. Not the case tonight. They lost last night to Geneseo Maple Leaves, one nothing. They've scored eight times already this afternoon with still eight and a half minutes left to play. Yeah. 
Shot on the goal, sailing wide there from Noah Barkley. Not too sure who's uh, goaltending this half here or right now for uh, for Beecher. It is no longer Miguel Herrera. There's Sosnoff kicking it up to Arana. Arana over to Juarez. Here comes Kevin Juarez and the Urbana Tigers. Juarez kicks this upfield to number 22, Ivan Mane. Some good ball movement here by Urbana. Dolorud runs into some issues and passes the ball there. He's able to get it right back. And battling out of that one is number 11, Jesus Tapote for the Bobcats. And here midfield and advancing that ball is number 10 for the Bobcats, Brendan Lumen Para. Over to the far side now and kicked out of play by Beecher. Throwing this one back in for Urbana is going to be Ivan. Well, in fact, he tosses that one out over, uh, looks like number 19 over there for the Tigers. And it is as Willem Lane has the ball there. Juarez kicks it over to Dulrud. Dulrud. Back over to Sosnoff. Sosnoff finds Juarez again over to Arana. Arana now midfield, shakes off two defenders, going to the center, trying to find number 22, and that is broken up by Josh Rosales. Rosales, a junior at Beecher High School. And going to kick this one away is number 10, Brendan Lumen Para, senior for the Bobcats. Bobcats tossing this one in on the far side with just under six minutes remaining here in the game, trailing by six to the Urbana Tigers. Here's William Arana. Arana kicks this upfield. And slipping over that one is Aiden Ward. Aiden Ward back up, kicks the ball over. He's looking for number 11, Jesus Tapote. Coming up with this is a Dolorud. Dolorud wisely kicks that back to Isaac Sosnoff. Sosnoff finds upfield number 22 for the Tigers, Ivan Mene. They kick it over to the far side and find Noah Barkley. Noah Barkley advances that ball to Samuel Romeni. And right there in the middle is William Morana, and it's taken away by Jesus Tapote of the Bobcats. On the far side now, here comes the Bobcats. Urbana doing its best to break that up. We have a whistle on Beecher and it will be Urbana ball here. So five minutes remaining here, Urbana up eight to two. Barring any miraculous comeback by the Bobcats, they'll advance in the consolation bracket to game number 10 this afternoon at 12.30 at McKinley Field. So that'll be the championship, and looking over at the other field, Urbana 2 trailing now 4-1 to one to Bremen. So most likely Urbana 1 will be playing Bremen at 12.30 this afternoon for the consolation championship. Over on the winner's bracket, Mohamed Seymour going to play Central later today, and the winner of that will go on to play for first place, uh, either the Danville Vikings or the Geneseo Maple Leafs. And as we saw last night, the Maple Leafs tough. Shot on the goal and good from the Bobcats. So they're not quite done yet. It's now a five-score game, 8-3. Urbana's favor. That one coming at just under four minutes remaining here in the game. Scoring that one for the Bobcats was Trent Myers. 
Here's Noah Barkley. Barkley retains possession. He kicks it over to Arana. That's deflected by Beecher. Corner kick here for the Tigers. Uh, header just sails right over and out of play. So the Bobcats going to toss this one back in. And that was Aiden Ward throwing that one in for Beecher and now throwing it in for Urbana is Jonathan Dolorud. Dolred looking for Arana. Finds Arana, broken up by a header of the Beecher defense. Whistle blown, and will be Beecher ball here. Tony Diani for the Bobcats. Just two minutes remaining. Moving that ahead for the Bobcats is A.J. Graham. Racing to the far corner is number 10, Brendan Lumenpara. Lumenpara doing battle down there for the Bobcats and for the Tigers is number 34, Jonathan Dullerud. Lumenpara shot on the goal and a nice stop from Patrick Sweeney. Sweeney rolls that one out. And with just a minute remaining, Urbana taking its time here. They're up by five. It's an 8-3 game. Olivia Contreras kicks this downfield, and racing to it is Dolorud. Dolorud has it now. He kicks it over to Juarez. Juarez now. And Wara is kicking that over to Remeni, and he gets tripped up. I believe this will be uh, Urbana kicking here. And it will be. So penalty kick here from Rumeni. See if Urbana can uh, go out on a score here with just 30 seconds remaining, and he does. Rumeni kicks that one in the far corner, and Urbana now up Shot on the goal there from number six, Trent Myers, and diving in front of that one is Patrick Sweeney. Sweeney gets the save there. He kicks this one back out, just 10 seconds remaining here as Urbana's up by six. And that'll do it, 9-3 Urbana victory. The Tigers came out more aggressive from the start. Tone setter from Miguel Lemus as he had a few goals today, and the Tigers win by six. So Urbana's advancing, Urbana one that is, is advancing to the loser's bracket consolation championship game, which will be played at 12.30 today at McKinley Field. 
They will play the winner of Urbana 1 and Beecher. And just looking at that game, it's about to wrap up as well. Just 30 seconds remaining and Bremen up by two. So most likely Urbana 1 going to play Bremen later today at McKinley Field. For our camera operator, Abram Washington, I'm Jason Liggett. Thanks so much for watching. It's a Tiger victory 9-3 here at Blackman Field. We'll see you next time on the Tigers Media Network.